Hello lovely people, my name is Anar Bong Tomelio and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So last month I decided to participate in Inktober for my very first time. It's a challenge that I've wanted to do for a couple of years now, but I've always been intimidated by it. This year I did absolutely no planning beforehand whatsoever, a technique that I would highly not recommend. It wasn't until October 1st that I decided actually that I was going to go through with the challenge. So what I decided I wanted to do was spend 31 days drawing influential Black American writers. So if you do want to watch every video that I made over the past 31 days for Inktober, you can watch it in the playlist that I will link in this video. Um, today we are not talking about the subject matters, the authors themselves, we're talking about my experience doing Inktober. So enough chatter, let's get to it. My first day was sad because I actually ended up losing the footage of drawing Toni Morrison, but when you think of black American writers, who do you think of but Miss Toni Morrison? So. I also wanted to use this challenge to get better at drawing portraits and to get better at drawing people's likenesses. Some of these turned out better than others. It's all a work in progress. I actually quite like the Toni Morrison one. I don't know if it looks like Miss Toni, but it's an approximation of Toni Morrison. And I thought that this was this kind of using a single tone to painting, paint in shadows and add structure. I thought that was what I was going to go with for the whole of the series, but you will see that I changed my mind <laughs> part way through. Um, yeah, so day one was Tony Marston, day two was Frederick Douglass. I painted all of these using a very cheap watercolour set from, um, they're called King's Art watercolours. I think they're marketed as professional watercolours. They are not professional. If you want to see me trying them for the first time, I will also link that video to this video. Um, but they are good for just a very cheap practice set. Then I moved on to do Nella Larson and Lexton Hughes. Day six was Francis Harper, WD, W.E.B. Du Bois was day six and I was still sticking with the single hue but I was mixing it up and using hues that you don't normally associate with skin tone. And then when I got to day seven I wanted to play around with multiple colours so I decided to stick on the cooler spectrum and do um, and use blues and greens. And then for day eight with Richard Wright, I went to the warmer spectrum. And you can see that I stopped drawing the chest and they become mostly just headshots. Then by day nine, I threw caution to the wind and decided, hey, let me just try and paint with these watercolors again. Again, these are really cheap. It's really chalky. It's a poor finish. Um, this isn't watercolor paper either, so it's all warped, but if you're just looking for cheap watercolours to practice with, um, especially if you're just practicing your colour theory and how to do colours, um, just grab out a cheap set and just do it. Any art supply is better than no art supply, in my opinion. People probably disagree. Then I had enough of the cheap watercolours and decided to break out my watercolour markers. This set I do enjoy. I feel like I feel like with this whole page, this whole spread, maybe not so much with Maya, but with most of the spread, there is a likeness there. It's not a clear-cut like likeness, but especially with Octavia Butler, I feel like you would know just by looking at that without the label, that's Octavia Butler. Then I decided to see what would happen if I desaturated everything and went for a grayscale and that was fun. So this is the worst page in the whole challenge because I was trying hatching and I've been trying hatching throughout the challenge but I was trying colouring and hatching and it only really works with Gwendolyn Brooks and again I think this is a fairly good likeness it's not great but it's a fairly good likeness and i was actually 
surprised by how the hands turned out because I thought that was going to end up horrible. But it wasn't so bad. Um, but Angela Davis and Nikki Giovanni, I need a redo. So after the hatching fiasco, I came back to watercolours and it kind of felt like I had to warm up again. Harriet Jacobs looks like Prince. Tana Hussey Coates. I'm sorry, Tana Hussey Coates. <laughs> I need to do a redo of him. Uh, Phyllis Wheatley came out okay, but it's not a great likeness. And then, I feel like we had a breakthrough with Roxanne Gay. Roxanne Gay might be my favourite of the whole series because, yeah, something flipped with Roxanne Gay where I liked how it looked, I felt like there was a fairly good likeness, I enjoyed drawing her hair, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the whole process. And so. That was great. It was after I did Roxanne Gay that I decided that yes, I need to invest in some watercolour paper and some good watercolour paint and um, actually get better at this. And then it just kind of, I was on a roll. I did Amiri Baraka, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, N.K. Jemison, and I'm fairly happy with all of these. I was playing around with shadow and light and colours and mixes and I've still got a lot to learn but this was great practice. And then this is my final page. I had five left so I thought I'd squeeze them into one page and yeah the role continued. I like most of these. Gloria Naylor, I didn't like the paint job. It ended up coming out very mucky. I um, mixed too many cool and dark tones and I was like yeah, it's muddy. The same with Ida B. Wells. I didn't do her well. Um, but Audra Lord takes centre spot and I enjoy her with centre spot because um, she's probably my favourite of this whole spread. And Belle Hooks, I like the way the lighting came out with her and also the way her hair came out. So this is the first time um, that I've ever been able to keep up a regular drawing practice of drawing every single day and you can see you can see the improvement like it's by no means great but there's definitely improvement from day one to day 31 and so that's my biggest learn that's my biggest lesson that I've learned is that yeah you have to practice every day you have to practice every day and who knows what you might learn and you have to experiment um, and not be afraid of experimenting or wasting your art supplies. If you're scared of wasting your art supplies, get cheap ones and waste away. But anyway, that was my quick sketchbook tour through Inktober. I hope to do more challenges like this um, just because they keep me accountable. Thank you to all of you who joined me over this challenge. Thank you for all of you who stuck with me. Thank you for all your comments and your likes and your views. And um, yeah, have a good day, good evening or good night. Goodbye.